Hello and welcome. It's your favorite host, your favorite business coach, Robert Lyon. And today we have the great privilege of talking to Tony Beeman. He's a government contractor. He's been doing this business for a long time. I'm really excited to kind of pick his brain and just learn everything that he's been going through in his entrepreneur experience. And uh, yeah, Tony, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Hey, thanks a lot, Robert. Hey, yeah, Tony Beeman. I'm out here in the um, San Francisco Bay Area. My company, we've been working with the government for the last 11 years We've had, definitely had a lot of ups and downs that I look forward to, to talking about that I can maybe shift people away from some of the pitfalls. But um, here recently, been working on some of the contract awards that we've been awarded over the last year. So we've been awarded over 10 government contracts, you know, we're trying to execute on those and started helping other entrepreneurs, business owners that are interested in working with the government and that's what I've been up to lately. When did you start and kind of what got got you in? Yeah, you know, started my company back in April of 2013. I got my first government contract back in 2018 was the first government contract that my company was awarded. It was, uh, you know, <laughs> a, a long haul for me. You know, one of the things that I'll definitely say is that government contract and Save not only saved my my business, my company, but it also really, really allowed us to grow quite a bit. Why is that? Or what did what did that kind of look like? Well, you know, um, in 2018, you know, um, hey, you know how it is as, as an entrepreneur. We all we all go through struggles of, of trying to really identify who are who the right customers are sometimes, you know, what are what's the right strategies and stuff and 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 um and and through that you know the re the relationship that I that I was in with my with my with my daughter's mom you know she you know to to her maybe it was taking a little longer than she wanted to so it's an interesting time you know and and right around that time was when won the first government contract and it was actually with the city of Rochester New York for oh. Um, security awareness training, believe it or not. It, it was for about $48,000, <laughs> you know? And and then um, a couple of months after that, we got my second government contract award and it was with the Texas Department of Transportation for about $110,000. And um, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was definitely an interesting time, you know? And so- um, and it kind of changed your life just because it was a big, big payday and it was a good opportunity, or you were just like, "Oh, this is real." Like, was it? Yeah, was yeah, a... definitely. You know, all the, all the above. You know, um, the first, the first few contracts, it were, um, they weren't, they weren't as profitable, you know, as, as I would have liked to of them to be, you know. But what it did do was, uh, it did a few things. You know, it, it definitely boosted the, uh, the top line revenue number, which, hey, that's. That's definitely pretty important as a business and stuff. You can parlay that onto it to a lot of things. It built up what's really, really, really important to work with the government is it built up the past performance, you know? Right. You know, and sometimes, you know, as an entrepreneur, I mean, you just need some, you just need some wins and stuff. You know, um, one of, you know, uh, one of the strategies for pricing is, especially when you're, when you're trying to get really get started working with the government is, you know, hey, you know, you have to have a good pricing strategy, you know, uh, and that yeah, can I mean, really they usually want to do it with like the cheapest version, like option, right? That's kind of how you win yeah, sometimes. You, absolutely. Because a lot of the contracts are what is known the cheapest price. You know, if you, if you are a, um, a, um, a reseller, uh, which is pretty common. Um, then they're just going to go with 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 the cheapest with the cheapest price, you know. Mm -hmm. So that you know, I mean, if, if just like just like any other customer would. And hey, if, if you can get the same thing from from any place, you, you know, you're going to go with with the cheapest price. That was that was one of my strategies of uh, being able to uh, to build up the past performance in the beginning. To you know, how and, many did uh, you apply to try and do? Like how many how many um, contracts did you apply to? Oh, before Lord, you think you, know, you got one, you know, there, there I would say, you know, um, over 30 for sure, you know, yeah, you know, 30 to uh, one, basically. <laughs> yeah, you know, I had, uh, you know, I, I didn't know anything about proposal writing at all, you know, and one thing about 
the government contracting is that you know once you once you you get signed up for uh, for sam.gov you know all these people and resources start reaching out to you like they're yeah. an expert and stuff you know and, and it's it's really hard to determine you know you you can spend a lot of money and and not and not I did like a lot of others, you know, uh, different services and consultants that that definitely didn't give me the results I was looking for. And so, uh, you know, yeah, that's one thing. Hey, I want to save a lot of people the. Uh, well, if you were talking to your younger uh, self, I guess, what would you tell them to win contracts? Like, what should they do? Yeah, yeah. There, there's a, there's definitely um, a few things that that I want people to, to keep in mind, and uh, there's definitely a level of patience that that you got to have. You know, the government, from my personal experience now, you know, they really kind of prefer to buy from companies that that you know, hopefully you're at least two years old ish, you know, I mean, now, now, now you certainly can, can win a contract by being brand new and all that. You think about, okay, well, who is the government and, and all that, you know, and, and really the government is, is where the money really comes from is, you know, they're, they're, they're using public dollars for, whatever product or service it is, you know, waste the public's dollars and they want to make sure that, you know, you can deliver what they, what they need, you know? Right. They have to, you have to get it done. So they want your business to be at least two years old. Like, does it mean you have to be doing government contracts for two years or your LLC has to be around for two years or what those like? Yeah, pretty much that, you know, your company has kind of been around for, for, for two years, you know, right. that's, that's, that's what I've kind of seen, you know, in a way. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they, 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 you know, and, and a lot of it too is, you know, like, you know, I mean, Hey, as you know, so many companies kind of fail within those first two years. So they want to kind of see right. too, like, Hey, are you going to be around and stuff? You know? And, <laughs> yeah. Are you, you real know? or are you just another thing? Yeah. You know, I mean, Hey, we, we've all seen on the news where, where it's like, Oh, th this, this contract was awarded to da, 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 da. And that, you know, and Whoever the buyer is, they, they don't want to end up in that position, right? Because yeah, they, they're, 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 they're their names on the line, dollars, right? Yeah, and they're using public dollars. They, they don't want to waste the. It's not yeah. their money, right? They want to do a good job with it. So how how do you write a proposal? Do you have like a process now that you've gotten pretty good? Do you pay someone to write the proposals? Like what what's kind of worked for you? Yeah, man. Um, one of the things about proposal writing is um, and I hey I I've I've used some great ones that have you know, given me some great materials that we've submitted, you know, and, mm -hmm. and then there's uh, one of the ones that, that I've won a lot of contracts with, you know, cool. uh, you know, I mean, I, I have a particular source that, that I use. He, he and his team, they have won hundreds of millions in government contracts. Um, I, you cool. know, if not billions in, they have, a, 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 I'll be conservative, they have like a 70% win ratio, you know? Wow. You know, it's it's pretty and incredible. They just, they've just been doing it forever, basically, or oh, they have like yeah, a certain like system to make it look real mm -hmm. good. Absolutely. Cool. They, they, they uh, you know, but, but I'll also tell you that um, in this day and age now, you know, I mean, there, there's some pretty amazing tools to, to write proposals, you know, that, that use AI, for instance, you know, and stuff, you mm -hmm. know, which is like, you don't have to be necessarily as much of a proposal specialist and stuff because of some of the tools. I mean, it's really incredible. And also in today's day and age, it's, it's kind of not as much about writing the proposal as it is about building the proposal, you know, and uh, you can use some, some, some tools to really, you know, I mean, some some of these RFPs that come out, you know, might be, you know, 100, 200 pages. And you're just like, oh, my God, what is what is this? You know, <laughs> yeah, that's and, what I'm uh, about. you know, you don't know what you're looking at. There's tools now to, to where it's like you can just basically like upload the whole thing and mm -hmm. just tell it, you know, hey, what 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 exactly is is, is this looking for? What exactly are, is needed to submit a successful proposal and you know and that's and it'll kind of break everything down and stuff you know i mean it, when you look one one of the things that i do 
is you just go straight to the scope of work, you know, yeah. and they'll have like all this crap, you know, just go right to the scope of work and then it'll tell you, boom, hey, this is what, this is what it is. And then I go from, from there, I go right to the pricing because right. the pricing will tell you that also will tell you like, oh, this is exactly what they're, what they're looking for. And then, and then I gotta go backwards, and, and then I'll look at like, okay, what is needed to submit the proposal? Because because they'll, they'll tell you, they'll, it'll tell you exactly like, okay, hey, we need you need to have a make. Sometimes it'll have, make you have a cover letter. You sometimes you'll need you know table of contents. You know you'll need the executive summary. You know they'll tell you exactly what, how they want it. They'll even tell you who to submit it to, and along with in the subject line, hey you. We want this exact thing in the subject line. And a lot of times they will be uh, just rejected because like you didn't follow the instructions, you know, the subject, they, it says, do you want the subject to say this? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't say, nope. you know, so, I mean, it's, 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 it's a little, uh, it's, it's amazing, you know? Yeah. And did you kind of pick a niche? Like, did you, like when you were looking at government contracts, were you just kind of like shooting for everything or did you have your specific niche and that's kind of what you focus on? And then. Whenever you get one of those kinds of deals in your niche, you apply, or how do you do it? For me, I use a lot of my personal background because um, right. I started in staffing um, for, for for information technology and engineering and stuff. You know, you just stay also, in that little wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, you know, and well, and initially, you know, and I also have an MBA in human resources. So, cool. so you know, for me, you got to you got to use everything you got. You know, you know, so. Right. Uh, one thing about staffing, you know, hey, if it, whether it's to me, to me, whether it's a, a software engineer, an electrical engineer, hey, the the process is really kind of the same, you know. So kind of chose cybersecurity as one niche, cool. as well as healthcare as one niche, you know, and engineering, you know, because it all really comes down to billable hours. Obviously, as a as a as a minority, and I'm a and I'm a veteran. You can really leverage those things a lot right. to to open doors, you know, for, you know, and, and that's in any any way you can get your the doors open to you, you know, as, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you know, hey, you know, um, especially because one thing about the government and especially with, with certain government agencies, it's it's the law. They, they have to, by law, give certain percentages of their contracts to women owned or minority yeah. owned or veteran owned companies or even just small businesses you know they don't just give you know all their their work to to larges and they 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 by law and they want to you know want they want to work with uh different local small businesses and a lot of times they can't find enough small businesses to do what they need them to do and let's yeah. be real about it it's not like a lot you know let, let's be real a lot of these diversity programs and all that you know i mean it's not like it's because it's the goodness of their heart you know it's because it's the law so for us to you know <laughs> this you know to not right. take advantage is is, is crazy you know I mean, crazy. Why not, you know what i mean so, why not you know and 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 the government you know you know a lot of people think about the government and they're like they, they immediately think about the federal government where you know like oh my gosh you know you got you know different local cities and counties different states there's all kinds of colleges and universities and quasi i mean it's it, the list goes on and on and on and on and on you know and all of them need wow you need know, we've got right? a lot of new uh we got a lot of these problems that we need solutions to. We got <laughs> so tell tell me the truth though. Like, do you do you just apply to a lot of these things and then like Absolutely. if it gets and if it gets approved, you're like, okay, we'll figure this out. Because that's like yeah, of course. Like I, I mean, so that's, that's what, what we too? that's what we do. You know, I mean, <laughs> okay, like, cool. uh, you know, I'm I, I've I've had my uh, my company, you know, kind of home base. You know, I've won millions and millions in government from all over the country. We, we've had acts in Alaska. I mean, I talked about New York, Texas, uh, here in California, Florida. Let's see. Uh, Virginia. And how do you I, actually I, do I it? Like, do, you about the, do you fly there? Do you just like call everybody in the area and you make no, have other people no. kind of manage it or there, what do you do? There's been a couple of contracts. There's been, there's been a few contracts that we've been awarded where um, part of the contract is you have to establish a local presence, you know, mm -hmm. like um, one of them, 
was for uh, City of Dayton, Ohio, uh, and and uh, that was you know we you know part of the contract was hey we had to have a local office there and mm -hmm. which we you know had to do that and, and everything and another one was for um um Wayne County Airport Authority up in um it's up there I think they're up around Detroit you know same thing you know where you know hey if if we were awarded the contract and you know, we had to establish a local presence and um you know yeah so but a lot of them are just remote you can just do them from your mm -hmm. house yeah, you, you just know. have to find people to do the work or you have to do it online somehow yeah yeah you know but but how awesome is that of an opportunity to to grow and expand so cool. your company you know you <laughs> yeah. get awarded a contract and, and then you know part of the contract you have to establish a, a local presence well man you know you you go open up a new office in that area you know mm -hmm. you hire somebody new you know you're, you're creating jobs and stuff you know and, yeah, and like then that. in turn, you're paying taxes for that local thing. I mean, like, I mean, it, the the circle of stuff that is, I mean, that's it's a, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I mean, that's what you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a that isn't that what the you know we you know a lot of us aspire to be to hey have a company that 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 expands you know beyond your your beyond your local thing you know. Uh, yeah. You know, and you get I mean, to feel kind of patriotic because cool. it's you know the government, and then you get paid oh, yeah, pretty man. pretty good money if you make it if if you can do it in the budget, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you, you actually know, do you can, what you say you can do. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it, it it takes it takes some 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 patience and stuff, but hey, once once you're in, you're in, you know. Yeah. And and then uh and that you know and you don't have to necessarily work directly with the government. I mean, you can you know there you can be you can be a subcontractor and 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 still do incredibly 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 well you know i mean yeah. I, and then you don't have as much of the risk and stuff you know and you know and again you know like they they by by law these these large government contractors you know once once you I, i'm not sure what the threshold is but but once you get to a certain threshold if you do any business with the government then the, then the government says well now you have to gives a lot you know a certain percentage of your businesses to other small businesses woman owned mm -hmm. da, 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 involved with some some pretty cool projects and stuff you know um i mean my gosh you know you know hey for instance you know like one of one of our we're, we're a subcontractor to a company that has um they are the prime contractor for the va you know the mm -hmm. veteran for the veterans affairs for their health care staffing and it's like and it's like an eight billion dollar contract, you know. I mean, much too large for for my company to handle, you know. But but we're a subcontractor to them, and, cool. and we got requirements, you know. Every you know multiple requirements every single day that that come specifically on on that contract. I have recruiters working specifically on on on, on those requirements, we you know, and stuff. And well, we could we could build. They keep you know, busy. I mean, just that one that that just that one I mean, we could we could you know have, we we could we could build up to, to tens of millions just on that one contract as, as a subcontractor you know wow is that kind of how you think now you're like if you if you lock in some of these contracts like i'm just going to build a little business that just does this for like this contract and as long as it goes and you do a good job you'll just continue to get paid and then you find another niche for that you can kind of build mm -hmm. another business around is that kind of how you see it yeah yeah you know that's that's uh that's that's one of the things that that, that we do yeah for sure you cool. know it's uh one, once you're registered in a lot of places and you have like a lot of certifications i mean you 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 will get opportunities on an almost daily basis of, of larger companies coming to you you know saying hey you know we either need a, co um, a company like yours to, oh, wow. to do this on this one contract, you know, or they may come to you and say, Hey, you know, can we partner? Can, can we be your subcontractor on this contract? Because a lot of these contracts, you know, that are, you know, they're, you know, you, they're, there's a lot of contracts that are set aside only for women owned, you know, certified women owned or only for veteran or only for minority, you know, and, and a lot of them are pretty, pretty big. And, yeah. and a lot of large companies would like to have a piece of those contracts, but they can't because they they're they're not they're not oh. a small minority, you know. So I you know, cool. I appreciate it. I get kind of you know companies hey you know there, there's there's this one opportunity you know to work with the Air Force 
and they want da da da, you know, and, and we mm -hmm. notice that you are certified. And you know, <laughs> you know, okay, can you're the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll do all the work, we'll do, we'll do everything. Hey, we'll even put the put the proposal together. Cool. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, sure, go ahead. You know, <laughs> you want to use my certification and do, you know, all right, sure. You know, I'm very proud to say that not not one contract that we've had is because we're you know, minority certified or, you know, like, I mean, like, it, you know, it opens the doors a lot of times, you know, it's not a magic bullet, you know, you know, but we, we you know, to, we really should be leveraging a lot more. Right. The problem is, is that like, wow, we've got, we've got so much on the table right now. It's, it's hard to, you know, we just can't get to everything. But know? I mean, a lot of, so a lot of the audience, like they really want to do government contracts. Where, where would you tell someone to start? Right. And you, obviously you've mm -hmm. been through the roller coaster, what would your recommendations yeah. be to, I mean, obviously levels of patience, you were saying it takes like 30 applications to get one approved right in the beginning. But like, is there any mm -hmm. other tips that you would give people? Like if they want to start this, like oh, maybe yeah, they don't sure, have man. as many skills, but what would, what would you think you'd tell them? You definitely want to initially make sure that your company is really set up correctly, you know, yeah. either your LLC, you know, make sure that's set up correctly. Of course, having the right business licenses, state registrations, you know, from there, I would make sure that you had that you're you got the right marketing and online presence really set up. You know, like like make sure that your website is set up correctly. You you know you want to have at least a page on your website that's geared specifically towards government stuff. You know, and and right. and if in in lot you know visually maybe have like a government building in the background or a flag or something like that, so it kind of shows. And, and then, and then, um, from there to, uh, you want to make sure that you 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 got a good capability statement ready to go. You know that's what the government uses a lot for their for their marketing. You know they'll ask for your capability statement, and and um, so you want to make that sure look like? that. Tell me more about that. Yeah, that that is like a one or two page document that really kind of highlights what your business's skills are, you know, your yeah. company skills. It shows some of your past performance dif differentiators and it has your, um, what's known as your, your, your next codes, your, your NAICS codes on there. So, so it just goes over everything that you can do and, and all the things that you're possible, that could be possible that you that you qualify for. Is there, I mean, if you, mm -hmm. if you were just starting off again, what would you go for? Just back to staffing? Cause that was your wheelhouse or is there any like, Mm -hmm. Just random yeah, you know, that you like. All, also within you know staffing, you know there, there there's payroll services and mm. you know things like that. You know that, that that go around you know staffing. A lot of times you know around staffing, some of the other keywords are like personnel. It may be um, temporary, or maybe it's, um, augmentation. There's payroll services, human resources, and some of this other stuff. Just what's like really what's really important that they like to look at is uh your your past performance. So yeah. if you if you if you're brand new, you know, um if your company doesn't have any past performance, you know, really think about and this is what I did too, you know, you got to think about like in your 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 corporate life, you know, maybe who were some of your largest customers, some of your largest mm -hmm. projects and um who who those companies were the uh the who were your the the buyers and uh how much did they what was the project worth was it worth you know hundred you know hundred thousand was it worth a million you know they want to see that as well as like a description of what the project was so that way you want you want to have it like three to five good past performances because because that they they just want to see that do you you know you know like when we even when you think about capability statements you know a lot of times a lot of times it's not about like, have you done it before, but do you have the capability to do it? You know, yeah. can, can you demonstrate that you have the capability to do it? You know, right. like, like, like we, like I said, you know, we, 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 we focus on some cybersecurity stuff, some staffing within healthcare and all that, but, but I'm not, I'm not a nurse clinician. I, I don't have any experience of cybersecurity, none, none of that stuff. Right. And, um, you know, yet, you know, um, I've demonstrated the capability that, that that we can we can put people there. And that's uh and 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 if you the tell the skill. right story in your yeah. proposal, 
then that's what the big that's the biggest biggest part of it you know yeah. it's kind of like you go to a restaurant and sometimes you know you see something that it, it looks great the, the, just on the plate it looks so good on the plate that you can't wait to dig in you know and that's kind of what you know like like the proposal <laughs> stuff, you know i mean like if it's checking all the boxes and it just looks so good and, and everything that's like wow you know and you've demonstrated your capability then that's that's what it's it's mainly mainly about you know mm -hmm. and also you know it's you don't necessarily have to do it yourself you know i mean like most i'd say half of our contracts we're partnered with another company that they've had more of the capability or specialty you know maybe maybe they specialize in in the cybersecurity stuff and all that you know we, maybe hey we have the certification and stuff our partner they 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 they've got the the special disease specialty and they've got all these projects and stuff that they've done oh. and all that well to the government lots of, they they actually they actually love that they because to them you know they they get to give contracts to more small businesses and stuff you know and, and they get they get uh especially in the federal market they 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 get credit for that they're, they're just like right. oh my gosh well this proposal had you know there, there's four or five small businesses teamed up on, on this thing, you know, this, mm -hmm. this company, you know, like, like, Hey, I mean, we, we, we'll do the project management, right? Whatever. So we do the project management. This other <laughs> company is handling incident response and this company is handling the did it, whatever, you know, to the contracting officer. They're like, they're like, Oh my gosh, well, I get I get to get credit for small business. Oh my! And they're a veteran business. Oh, and there's another woman-owned business. You know, and you know they get credit for all that, man. You know, for to let you know. So they cool. they love it. They love yeah. it. And then, yeah. like, how much time do you spend a week submitting or writing these proposals? Like, is it just every single like every single contract that pops up on Sam.gov, or do you have like a day of the week where you just look at what they got and you apply to the ones you like, or mm -hmm. what's kind of your strat your system for uh, applying for contracts? I don't. I might spend maybe a few hours a week. You know, my proposal team. You know, they they spend more time. Was it the whole but, team uh, that does it though? That yeah, focuses yeah, on they, the, for yeah. you. So is it like is it like totally not part of your business? Is it something you pay for, or is it what is it? Yeah, they, yeah. I, I pay. Yeah, I pay my team. You know, you know, and 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 to let let everybody know, um, you'd be you'd be surprised that that uh, you'd be surprised that that a lot of a lot of proposal writers and and some of the great ones are are not even based in the united states you know so you can get a, <laughs> you can get really really you know good ones is that know. what you would recommend if somebody really wants to take this serious is go find a really yeah. good proposal writer for you and then have them just yeah, do that full time yeah definitely that you know i definitely you know for that that's going to be that's going to be key you know it's yeah. uh there's some there's you know i can re recommend maybe a, a couple of really really good ones you know but uh you can spend a lot of money, you know, especially there's there's a lot of services and ones that that say that, oh, my gosh, we 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 won this. We won that. And, and they, they they can be very, very, very expensive. You know, you can spend yeah. 10, 20 grand a month, you know, but but, you know, or you can spend, you know, a couple of grand. Yeah. I'd say if you were going to bootstrap it yourself. What uh -huh. do you do? Just use Chat GPT and pray. <laughs> like, what, what can you uh, do? <laughs> yeah, um, well, that's well, you, Chat GPT. I mean, having, having the right prompts, having you know, prompting it the right way yeah. for sure is uh, is one. There, there's um, there's a couple of other. There's a couple of new proposal ones, proposals that are. Uh, I kind of think they have. A, they've integrated Chat GPT with it within their proposal writing and and they also have some some um, some pretty amazing prompts that are already integrated yeah. within the within the whole thing but uh but you, you know one one secret i would say is make sure to tell chat gpt that uh that you're that you're a shipley certified uh proposal writer and shipley? then that will that we said yeah shipley certified your business has been around for two years. You have your, your capability statement, right? You got your mm -hmm. business been around, you got your capability statement. You hire somebody to write your proposals for you. Is there anything else to really get this this thing rolling? Or is that pretty much all you need to start trying to get some deals going? Yeah, you know, and well, and and don't get me wrong, you know, I, I wouldn't say, you know, wait until you're two years old. What I've kind of seen until like you kind of win until 
most companies I've seen is when we won their first prime contract. Yeah. Like, is there anything else that you wish you would have known before you started, right? It's like, you make sure your website looks good. You, yeah, you're in yeah. business, you're on Sam.gov. You've got your capability statement figured out. You've yeah. maybe hired yeah. a proposal writer or you know how you're going to send the proposals. Um, is there anything else that you need or that you, you think people need, like if they wanted to get started? Yeah, you know, um, make sure that you're uh, attending those government contract events. You know, a lot of those are um, online, virtual. You know, yeah. it's a great way to it's a great way to build the relationships because, again, you know, you, you, it's it's mainly going to be to it's it's building relationships. I can't just put enough about the building relationships part. You know, right. that's that's an area where by attending a government events, you know, for for instance. One of our customers, I, I met at a at an event. It was specifically for 8A certified companies, and and um, I, I hit it off with with uh, the person at the at the event there. And right then and there, I, I sat down. She contacted the people back at the corporate office, and and I I had we had me she had me open up my laptop, and we got got me. Um, signed up there as one of their subcontractors it was a you know it was a oh yeah for for eye healthcare you know which is um very large healthcare staffing gotta love um, it when things like that happen yeah yeah so, <laughs> so yeah, go so to those events that yeah, was in you person wanna, you definitely want to um attend the events and stuff and everything and, and and with the uh the sub the subcontractors that's man i, I can't that's i can't you. stress enough that if you are well, even just a small business, but especially if you if you're a, a woman owned or a veteran or a minority, you know, you, you, man, to to get to to take the time to get your company certified uh, is going to open up a lot of doors. Infrastructure package that was put out, I guess, a couple of years ago, I don't know, one point three five, one point five trillion dollar infrastructure package. You know that that's that's from the Department of Transportation, right? To, to, for our roads and bridges and all that good stuff, as well as like our airports and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, the, the amount of projects that are happening that that are around that is is crazy. You know, I'm not talking about wow. just for construction and all that. I mean, I get opportunities daily for for you know admin admin assistant stuff you know there, there's marketing there's website development there's a lot of staffing there's all kind of, there's all kind of stuff you know wow. and and the the department of transportation has a specific diversity diversity certification it's called the dbe it's called the disadvantaged business enterprise that comes from the department of transportation you know, by law, hey, the, the part of the Trump transportation, they have to give away. I think it's like it's 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 crazy. And again, a lot of times they they can't find they can't find their DB certified companies to do what they need. And uh, oh my gosh, and a lot of these the know, demand big time. And and that's one area where like if if you are a brand new company, they they yeah. will if and if and if you get take the time to get DB certified. There are they have a lot of programs where they're they're gonna basically help you get a contract right then and there and help help you fund it. They're gonna help you get bonded, help you get whatever. Cool. You know, there's just they, they they have they have to give it to somebody. Right. Somebody well, somebody has to do the work too. They need it to get done, you know. If somebody wanted to start this like today, you know, and they were really motivated, how soon before they could, you know, get their first contract and make some money? That's a really difficult question. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> there's so many different things, right? Yeah, but they were yeah, just like, they, this is all they did is propose, send proposals. Like they just yeah, wanted to happen. Yeah, that's, right? Is that, it more of you a know, you gotta have a long term vision? Is that is that what you would recommend? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was saying earlier, you know, like with the with the government, you know, you you know, you have to have a little patience and stuff. It does it doesn't right. that that definitely doesn't happen like overnight. Mm -hmm. Uh that you know, they you know, they 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 they're gonna they're gonna check you out and check your company out, you know, before and all that. That's why that's why I'm saying, hey, make sure you have your online presence because they're, they're gonna check you out. They're, I wrote gonna, down a level of patience. I wrote that down. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you, know, you want to have even like like your LinkedIn profile. You want to make sure that yeah, it's professional because they're they're gonna they're gonna check you out. You know, we they're might want to say who who's the government. They're you know you submit a proposal. It doesn't go to like this black hole. It actually goes to you know people. 
you know, yeah. so the the person, you know, if if they if they like what they see, they're gonna go check you out. They're gonna go, they're gonna go check out your LinkedIn profile, they're gonna go check out your website, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna do all these things, you know, they're 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 gonna check out your past performance, they're gonna call, you know, make sure that wow, if, if I if I use these public dollars now on, on this, you know, as you know, can 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 this company deliver, you know, and they, you right. know, so they're, they're going to, they're going to do their due diligence. So, uh, yeah, you got to really want sure. it basically. And you got to be in it for the long, the long mm -hmm. run basically. Mm -hmm. So take your time, set it up, just make this another part of your, your business. Maybe that you're already doing, start working with the government, start getting some deals, making relationships, and then eventually it can snowball though into a massive oh, for business. Sure. For right? sure. Is that kind of the goal? You no, know? I mean, you can, you know, you, you can, you know, come in, come in at the right and a lot of it is timing. You can come at the yeah. right time. Look, all the, all the, all they want is they just want somebody to get it for them. You know that. You know yeah. during the pandemic, that's how I picked up uh, some of my first federal contracts and stuff. Mm -hmm. They needed some PPE. You know, boom. Yeah. Shout out, you know, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you don't really, you know, you know, if you you can use the middleman strategy. You know, a lot most of the time where like they just yeah. can, can you get it for them? They got to have it. Boom. Can, you know, and you can. You can you can make it happen that way, you know. As as far as uh, just just being, if you're, if you're like a reseller, you know, like hey, you, you, you they don't they don't care if, if you're if you're new or you're this or that, you know. It's it's this the same product, you no. Know, anyway, they're gonna they're gonna get it from the, the cheapest. And if you if you happen to be a certified company, a lot right. of times you get a ten percent. Uh, pricing differential. That means that you can come in ten percent higher than the next, the, you know, the, the next one, and you and you get credit for being yeah. model, you know. So yeah, there, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of things that you can you can uh, you can use in your pricing strategy and stuff to get some quick awesome. wins. What what else do you think maybe that we haven't touched on that's important for the people to know about government contracting and maybe working with you even too? Are, are you if somebody wanted to? Learn more. Could they reach out to you and you help them out, or what do you? What oh, would you of course, recommend? yeah, please, yeah, I definitely. Um, that's that's one of the things that that we've been doing here recently is um, in the business. So we can see strategics, gov connectors. You can go to strategics dot um, or mm -hmm. govconnectors dot com, and love to work with you. Be able to to help to help you cool. out. Do you have a course, or is it like a one on one mentorship, or what does it kind of look like? Yeah, there's a few different things. There's um, um, actually have have a book that that uh, has come out. Oh, yeah. Um, can just so that you can uh, purchase the book. There's you can do um, one-on-one um, -on -one strategy session where that's going to be like kind of a one-on-one um, -on -one ninety-minute strategy session where we just that you you and I will go through it together. Um, make sure that hey, the company is set up correctly. Um, well, really, we can even just dive right in as far as just identifying specific opportunities right, right now and, and what's going to be needed to um, submit on that opportunity, you know, cool. or we can, uh, you know, I mentioned uh, my team of uh, proposal writers and, um, and, and the proposal team also includes um, some graphics and stuff because because every each and every proposal is, is customized and stuff so we can kind of do it with you or you know or we can do it for you if, if you're before that you know so to, to take things to the, to the next level and uh awesome. introduce you directly to to, to to my team cool we'll have the links for that down below um what's the best way for them to reach out to you is it just go to your website are you are you on linkedin a lot or like where where can they oh yeah definitely you? on linkedin a lot you know put my linkedin profile here you know um strategics dot com or govconnectors.com or or you can uh reach out to me directly at I think it's Tony at govconnectors.com and cool. we can Gov Connectors, man. I love that. What is there anything else like because I do have some questions that I ask everybody that comes on the show, but is there anything on your mind about government contracts maybe that we haven't tapped on or do you think we kind of covered it? Oh gosh, we can talk all day, you know. About, yeah, I know, right? You know, <laughs> That's you know, I'll tell uh, you that, you know, as far as the federal government, the, the federal government, like right now, we are in the last week of the busiest buying season of the year, you know, because the yeah. uh the federal government um their fiscal year starts on October 1st. 
And so it ends September 30th. Um, so, so 2025 for the federal government starts on October 1st and goes until so, um, September 30th. The fourth quarter is the busiest buying uh, for the federal government. Um, and so between you know July, September, um, July, August, and September, or those are that that's when most of the contracts in the federal government are awarded, um, especially to, to small businesses. And they're awarded throughout the, the through, throughout the entire year, but that's the the, the busiest. So um in those in the first quarter, uh you know, th those that's it's also the the first quarter is the best time to um you know, build a lot of those relationships and all. But again, remember, yeah. don't don't just think about the, the, the federal government. You know, there there's so many you know cities, counties, yeah, states. states. And... I mean, it is it, it's it's crazy. You know, I mean, some of our largest contracts were were from cities and counties and stuff. And what was the biggest contract that you've you've gotten? Largest one is with the Gwinnett County, uh, Mountain Georgia for. 50 i think it's 52 million multi-year 52 million we're we're one we're one of we're one of nine companies on there you know but um but we came in number one on that contract um cool. that was we were awarded that one last november 52 and, uh, million man that's pretty big <laughs> yeah yeah you know i mean now we don't now we don't get that you know a bit of it what was incredible is that you know and this is my my, hey, my team you know they, they they got that you know they, we we came in number one we were the largest company in in staff companies in the world we beat out robert half tech systems and some of these other ones and uh you know so this uh the comp one of the companies they did 20 million on that contract alone last year so you know we're it's it's one of the yeah we we've we've got a lot of um, things we're working on with just that contract but yes like I said you what know, did kind of like what did the work actually look like that you had to do when you won that yeah we're it's now it's all um, staffing so now they they it's all um, IT staffing so it's now it's providing there. a lot of uh, a lot of the, what they need for for Gwinnett County they have a lot of different projects like, so they may need um, different. Um, Salesforce administrators, business analysts, uh, project managers, cool. and and uh, yeah, it's uh, and that's ongoing now forever. Basically, you just and you get paid by the government whenever or whenever it's completed, or when when does the government pay? Yeah, yeah. We so whenever we whenever on that one, whenever whenever we actually um, place people right. there, that's then we get you know paid. They'll, they'll, you know they'll, they'll probably be on contract for for five years or so. And um, you know our, our average bill rate is right around one hundred fifty dollars an hour. So you know whenever sure. we place people there, and they they'll pay us, and yeah, that's how it kind of works. That's awesome. And the government pays. That's the nice thing. That's it's also a recession proof mm -hmm. business. I mean, you do have to win contracts. You gotta you know get get bona fide, right, in the government's eyes. But then the government's always going to pay. There's always going to be new opportunities. You just mm -hmm. gotta keep going after it. I mean, what do you see right now? Do, is it very competitive? Is it is it Pretty much the oh, same yeah. as it's always been, or what's it? What's it? What's the kind of like the the feel? Well, yeah, it? it's it's it seems more competitive now, and I think that's a lot of because of the of the economic times that we're in. You know, now you know it seems like mm -hmm. it seems like the, like a lot of companies now, uh, maybe on the corporate side, and hey, you know, we all see, you know, there's a lot been a lot of layoffs and this and that, you know, and whatever whatever sector you're in. Um, a lot of that trickles downhill. And so now companies are kind of trying to rush to try to do government contracting and everything. And maybe, maybe there may be 20 or 30 uh, companies bidding on something. Now there may be like, you know, two, 300 bidding. on. Oh, wow. It, you know? So, uh, well, a little competition is good, but a lot is kind of, that's a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it all, it, it also helps not only if, if you, if you if ha have government experience now, so now, yeah. Like one, you know, once you're in, you're kind of in, you know, because now, now they they and they they see that oh okay you understand kind of how the process goes and you understand how to invoice and all the things like that and stuff you know and you know there, there's there's still plenty there, there's there's well, plenty of uh, opportunities and stuff so you know that that's that doesn't you know there, there, there's cool. plenty of opportunities for for new companies to get to get new contracts and stuff and on all that and. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's plenty of opportunities. You know, there, there's, there's like we'd said briefly. I mean, there, there's, we have so many new issues. We have old issues. We need new solutions to, and you know, right. new technologies, and 
you know, we, you know, there's, there's all, there's all kinds of stuff. You know, we, we need, we need new uh, solutions around um, climate change, you know, and technologies, you know, that there's a lot of kinds of exploration, not only in space, but Hey, here, you know, on our oceans and other things, yeah. you know, that we, you know, there's, you know, how, you know, what one big area where there's a lot of opportunity to is, is uh disaster response. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you know there there's there's actually you know man you know that i just thought there's actually certifications that you can get in just disaster response for all kinds of stuff you know for for staffing for providing goods and services and everything you know you know for fema for you know um, for for all kind mm -hmm. of state and age you know they, they they need they need to know who who can they call on when there's a when there's a natural disaster, whether it's a hurricane, right. a fire, <laughs> flood and stuff, you know, boom, you know, like, you know, now that the disasters happen and stuff, you know, like, oh my gosh, now we, we need, we need people need, they need to be able to, to get communication. They need to be able to get, you know, resources and stuff, you know, I mean, not, you know, uh, then, then, you know, Hey, not, not to mention the, like, like, like the cleanup and the rebuilds and all kind of other things, you know, but, but a lot of, these government agencies and quasi government agencies around, you know, the red crosses and stuff, you know, like they need like all kinds of people and products and stuff, you know, and, and there's more and more and more, you know, happening, you know, and Hey, you know, there's good, there's going to be more pandemics. There's going to be, you know, you can even think too, like there, there's way more opportunities outside the United States than there are within the United States, frankly, you know, yeah. you know, and, and, and when, and if, and if we are talking about the federal government, well, we have embassies and military bases right. all over the world, you know, and not only us, but our allied countries also, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, and then there's, you know, there, there's opportunities, with NATO and all, you know, that needs, I mean, it's, it, it, it goes on and on and on. Right. And, on and, on and on. I mean, the work. Had, you know, now we haven't been awarded <laughs> opportunities overseas, but, but I've, but I've sent proposals for staffing in Guam and Korea cool. and um, yeah, all kinds of, you know, all, all over the place, you know, that's so cool. So the endless amounts of work and out of all the entrepreneur experiences, you think that uh, government contracting is worth your time and it's, it's very, beneficial and rewarding and you're going to keep growing or what, what are your thoughts on it? I believe so, you know, and, and, and I've also, you know, it's, you know, been approached by different investor um, people and stuff, you know, you know, cool. there's a, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a time I, um, from what I've seen too, where, where there, there's, there's definitely investors that, that are interested and, or they may specialize just in, like the government spaces and stuff. And, and, uh, yeah. you know, and, and there's a lot of the, you know, our, our country needs a lot of, uh, we need, we need new, need a lot of work. Stuff, you know? <laughs> I mean, Hey, you know, yeah. you know, there, there, there's drone technologies, you know, Hey, if you, right. you can supply drones to, 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 to police forces, you are just, you know, Hey, that's a scene, maybe a city or a county mm -hmm. or state, you know, or the military, you know, you can, you know, there's, there's all kinds. There's all kind of cool stuff, you know. That, well, that, this is uh, so cool, man. This is enlightening. I'm re motivated to brush off my mm -hmm. government contracting. What uh, what resources do you like? Are there any good books on government contracting? Is there any good people out there? I mean, obviously, I'll just talk to you, and I think everybody out there should just reach out to Tony if they have questions. But where where did you learn? You know, or did you just kind of learn from doing the work and just getting in the trenches? Yeah, I learned uh, the hard way. You know, a lot yeah. of. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh! I guess you have you know, a book. I'll I read your book. Many people go. do a lot of that. <laughs> my guy said earlier, you know, once you get your register, your company registered in Sam, people are gonna come out of the woodwork. You know, right? Yeah, you know, they're a specialist in this and that, and I've spent a lot of money and you know gotten taken advantage of a, a lot along the way. You know, and okay, uh, so don't do that. You know, I, I look, I look at some of my earlier proposals. Had no idea what what I was doing and stuff. You know, but uh, you know, but then, but then I, I've also gone through a lot of programs you know they the sba offers a lot of free programs they, they give you a lot of um, resources free resources and stuff for that um that actually will help you with some of your um like your proposal writing identifying contracts and stuff and you know because they they you know the the, the government the federal government especially they 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 actually want more 
Um, they want more small businesses to reply to opportunities. They're not getting enough replies in, in a lot of instances and enough, and they're not getting enough qualified responses to a lot of stuff. Right. I mean, hey, a lot, they lot can of times, stand out in the marketplace, you know, basically. You know, if you yeah. just put a little, put a little more work in it. Yeah, yeah, you de you definitely can. You know, uh, cool. Um, and with um, there's there's uh, I use I use there's a couple of um, services I use that you know, of course you got to pay for them. That were where they they pull opportunities daily. From like a, a mo well, I can't. I don't know if I could say all, but they, it definitely pulls from Sam as well as yeah. like m many, many, many cities, county, states, and uh, all kind of stuff. And uh, like one of them that I use is called Bid Prime. That's one of the main ones that I use, and it's a great resource to uh, hey see see what current opportunities are out right now. It it, uh, it emails me three times a day of um, oh. opportunities and stuff so that way you're not having to go and you know do a lot of searching you know hey you know when you, you set it up and it, and you set up a lot of your keywords and everything else and then based on that boom you know opportunities are sent to you and and uh so yeah it really streams lines and a lot of that good stuff yeah. that's a good resource so the free stuff on the, on the sba that's a good stuff see obviously yeah. go to sam.gov and get registered Bid Prime, hire, um, probably reach out to you and learn more about your, what your proposal people, uh, writers and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I think this is really good. good. I think everybody's going to get a lot of, you know, information oh, yeah. on this podcast. And then if it, if we should probably have you back on again and we'll get a little more detail, oh, love on, to, like, man. which ones to look at and things like that. Um, and, I mean, I do want to ask you the three questions that I ask everybody, but anything else you think we should touch on uh, for government yeah, contracting? Yeah, I'll, I'll just say that, you know, one thing about government contracting, man, you know, is that it's public, it's public knowledge, you know, I mean, right. I could be sitting here saying this and that, you know, but, but, you know, hey, I, I, I wish that I would have taken the time to research some of the, uh, <laughs> some of the people in the past that I've worked with and stuff, you know, <laughs> but, you know I like that one, you know, hey, yeah, I, that, that one, you asked me, hey, what's the largest contract? And I'm, you know, I, please go look it up, you know, you can, it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm proud. Of, I, I I love showing this stuff off, you know. But but anytime you, that that you you uh, may come across um, different consultants and all that, and they tell you, you know, oh, we've done this and that, you know, like make make sure that they that they you show it to you and pro yeah. because it, and it should be should be no big deal because it's it's public knowledge you, know, you should be able to right. like look any of that stuff up so i'll just well cool okay so the first question that i ask everybody that comes on the show you know i'm the money guy obviously right but what's one tip that you would give to the listeners or to your younger self um on how to make more money just do better with your finances um you know have a better relationship any any of those things in the finance space that has helped you do better how how incredibly important personal credit is and and yeah how much I can be overstated and how really to be able to leverage that in the right way, you know, and I wish I would have had the right mentors to guide me about how to leverage credit in the right ways to, to build wealth and having a wealth building, wealth creating mentality and focus right. versus just, um, having being about like like getting money for 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 whatever reasons and stuff yeah so more focus on building wealth and you know just take care of their finances and stuff like that that would be your tip yeah yeah and then just let you know and how to leverage credit you know, really you know and, and how important you know how, you know that is to uh to be able to initially accomplish a lot of stuff you know and, and then from there to leverage it the right way to build to build wealth right so start small, get your money, turn it into an ROI and focus on long-term wealth. Um, okay. And then the next question is, you know, happiness. What, what tips do you have to live a happier life, be happier? What have, what have you kind of found that works to, to be a happy person, I guess? Wow. Probably maybe everybody has heard this so cliche, you know, Hey, find your why and all that. And, you know, yeah, for, for, for me, I, I, I didn't, really understand uh kind of really why i was doing things um my purpose and all that until until i mean this is me until really until really i had my my, my daughter and stuff 
she's nine years old. I mean, it, that that she's give it has an incredible way yeah. of uh, making me look within myself um, and why I do things and why I'm you know the sacrifices you know you make and all that. If I, if if I could go probably do you know a million things differently, not 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 waste as much time and in areas and, and uh you know we maybe realize you know a lot what what, what is could have been possible a lot sooner you know had i just uh just had more just focus more in, in the right areas you know um, that your daughter makes you happy and spending time with them and family and things like that so it's all about yeah yeah right now and and i'm also you know doing a lot of uh self kind of reflecting on 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 hey tony too now you know what what was what what kind of stuff does tony want to do you know right. like <laughs> you know i want you know so uh so uh, yeah i want i want to have fun with my daughter with my with my, my family and and on on different trips uh that you know seeing seeing different parts of the world uh yeah you know being, being able to do you know i don't know just this fun stuff man i like i used to love riding go-karts when I was a kid, man. <laughs> I used to love it, you know, and I've been talking about my girlfriend, like, man, I want to get a go-kart and go and like <laughs> Let's go, go do go, it. Go-kart ride and stuff. And I've been like looking at there's just yeah, look just just stuff like that. You know, like, hey, how can I, I want I want to play more and yeah uh, and spend more time, you know. We end up taking um, ourselves so seriously, man. Yeah. We forget to play sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> not not so much fun. Um, yeah, I think that's, I, I love that. I think that'd be good. And then, uh, so the last question is what's one habit that you kind of started implementing that, that actually had like a genuine impact on your life, like to help you be more successful or more just uh, effective. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, the goal setting is, is an area that, that when I, when I, when I haven't done it, you know, I haven't been as focused, but, and, uh, and that, and that comes down to even on a daily basis to really, you know, understand like what, what you're going to accomplish for yeah. today. You know, I mean, I like to go into um, my, my, my week kind of starts on Sunday night a little bit by looking at the week um, and uh, all right, here's what's I, what I have going on. So that way Monday I already have, I already have you know an idea like hey what I need to do Monday morning I don't it, that that's the time up until it's about ten o'clock or so to really you know get get re in, refocused on which um, customers need the most focus this week and all that um, what what do you want to accomplish you know so I'm setting up my things to do list in which I had to kind of try, try to do on a day to day and, uh, and set up some, 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 some goals. All right. Hey, so for today, for, you know, this is what I need to accomplish by the day. Cause sometimes you feel like, at least for me, I can be really, really, really busy, do a lot of stuff, but what do I really accomplish? You know, so you got to make sure in order that you're moving the ball forward. Um, you know, so I like set those daily, daily goals and stuff around 10 o'clock is that that's when, you know, that's that's when kind of client outreach ish start kind of starts, you know, so from 10 to about 1130, you know, pick that back up from about one to three ish, you know, and then it's, you know, the documentation from from three to four, from four or five, it's like you kind of setting yourself up for the next day. Um, and um, yeah, just just making sure looking at. Okay, are you able, are you able to cross those things off? I love I love I, there's something about crossing things off the list, you know. Yeah, so good. I like to make sure that you know I, I put those down because when you, there's something about crossing it off the list, it's like, oh, okay, did I something, did. got it done, yeah, <laughs> move like, the needle a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that those are just some you know in a nutshell, you know, like, like kind of a a thing that I you know, and I have different different other reports that I use. Um, to see like all right hey what you know what's in the pipeline um when when is it um when do you expect it to close you know what what's the kind of effort for how much what, you know and and i got this little thing i call um 
your, your, your target, your target, your target managers to lunch, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, so, the, so within, within those target accounts, I have like a, maybe three to five people who it's like a target to, to, to lunch. You know, those are the people that, that I need to want to focus on building the relationships with, you know, cause you know, and some of them, some of them are the decision makers, some of them lead to the decision maker and all that, you know, or, you know, or, or an influencer and, you know, you're always adding to that, to that kind of list. Um, cool. Yeah. Well, I think this is super helpful, man. I think everybody's going to get a lot of value out of this, um, you know, this pod that we busted out. Um, any other last thoughts kind of before we wrap up? Well, I can talk all day, but I appreciate the opportunity to be here and look forward to helping out uh, any of those and all those who, who may be interested in doing any government contracting. Yeah, I think we'll get a lot of people uh, that are interested. So anybody who's listening this far, you know, definitely go to, uh, we'll have all the links down below in the show notes, but uh, reach out to Tony. He'd be happy to help you get started in the government contracting. I think we all are kind of inspired now to, you know, take action, but if you need some guidance, definitely reach out to him. Um, otherwise, yeah, I look forward to talking to you in the next one.